Gary, leading up to the playoffs, we had a 15-game unbeaten run. Very good form going into the playoffs. Uh, and then Tuesday night, it seemed to go a bit pear-shaped in the first 45 minutes. Could you just elaborate on that a little bit? Um, if I knew the reason for that, I, uh, I wouldn't be managing at this level. I'd be in the Premiership. Uh, we we prepared properly. We we kind of we had a game plan. We knew the way they were. We felt, uh, as we did in the second game, that if we kept the clean sheet, the longer we went on, the better we'd get. Um, the stats proved that, that Eastley conceded a lot of goals in the second half and late in games. It seemed like I, I've looked at the video two or three times, and it, we actually played quite well in between the goals. We seemed like every time the ball went in the box, they scored and. Sometimes you've got to take those kind of things, and that's what we said at half time. Everything's against us, um, so now we just go out, keep our shape, look to play. They'll get worse and worse. We've got the two goals, should have had a third, a um, couple of other chances, and we knew we had a great chance going into the game yesterday. Do you, do you think it was the high ball on Tuesday night? I mean, they did, they were big side. Yeah, I mean, I mean that's, it wasn't as though we weren't prepared for it. Um, played them twice this season, twice last season, and they were, they were the same then, so we were prepared for it. We talked about it, about what we were going to do. Um, just seemed like every time the ball went into the box, we lost vital headers. Right. I mean, you can go at different things. The first goal was embarrassingly handball um, on the edge of the box to flick on. Um, and it, it, we just seemed down. And, and maybe we've got a lot of players that haven't played at that level um, in that kind of game with that intensity. And um, I think it caught up with us. And it took us at least 45 minutes to an hour to get ourselves right. into the intensity of the game. Yep. Half time team talk on Tuesday night. Was that an easy team talk? Um, I think you just try and remind players of their responsibilities and how we got where we were, where we are, um, and I, it's difficult sometimes. I, I don't like talking about what goes on in the dressing room, but um, we, we didn't really change. We didn't devise a strategy and then just throw it out the window. We, we've been working towards this all year. We've got a certain way of playing, so we weren't going to change it just on, on a whim on, because we conceded three goals. Um, come out of the second half. And conceded another goal, um, and the one thing I talked about for a long time was mental strength. Right. Um, and we obviously we're getting that into us now. I still think we have a way to go, um, but we're getting that into us. And we started to play. We, we changed it around. I had to get fits on. Um, Stephen Gregory was unfortunate in that he, he had to come off. It wasn't right. anything to do with his performance. Um, but fits came on and did a superb job. And the importance of them two goals Tuesday night. Yeah, I mean you can go either way. It's, you can say, well, you know, we didn't actually need them because we, we scored four yesterday, but. You know, we scored another one that I couldn't see, but people tell me it was onside. Um, Scott Fitz. We also had a couple of other chances where we just didn't get the bounce of the ball. Right. But we, whereas I think previously, say last season, we would have lost that game four or five nil. Whereas this year we've lost it four two, and that's the progression that we've made. Right. And then after Tuesday night, obviously losing four two, you go into to yesterday's game. What was the um, the tactics, the team talk? Um, Get an early goal, or was it no, just we, play our we, um, normal game? For the first time, probably in a long time, I, um, I decided to try and manage the game. Um, so the idea, we had a certain tactic for the first 15, 20 minutes, um, a couple of little things that we did that, that caused them problems, and the idea was to be nil-nil at half-time. Um, I see somewhere that uh, apparently Will Hendry was injured. Um, he wasn't. Will Hendry was left out purely so that we could tire them out and then get him the room in the second half. Um, and to be honest, we got the, getting the goal just before half time was, um, I wouldn't say a blessing because we'd earned it, we did very well. Um, but yeah, we weathered the storm, get over it, maybe nick a goal, give him 10 minutes in the first, in the second half to really tie them out again, um, bring Will on, and he was supposed to cause chaos, which he did. Um, yeah. He scored one, set up one, um, and generally held on to the ball very, very well, and, and that was what we thought we had to do. Um, I was a little bit disappointed we didn't get the third in, in normal time. Did uh, you think it was all over when Scott Fitzgerald had that chance from the back pass? And um, no, I mean, as a centre forward, you get chances you're going to miss them. As long as you're not afraid to then um, go for another chance. And, Which and Scott, Scott did Fitz, show. Exactly. I mean, Fitz is an experienced pro and he's, I, I've long been saying he's a fully fit. He's a, he's a tremendous addi addition to the squad. Definitely. Um, and he's, he's had some problems this year, fitness. Um, I just get in a run of games and I know that he's doubted himself at times but I've never doubted him um, and I think if we can keep him fully fit through the summer coming next season he'll regardless of which division we're in he's going to be a great asset so I mean yeah you, you always think when you miss chances but we, we created things and um, I think in the end we could have had a couple more as well yeah definitely so now on to Thursday's final at Hampton how do you see that going? Um, well, we, we had a good look at them two or three weeks ago, and, and to be honest, they didn't get a good look at us. So we've got a couple of things planned. I, I, I tend to do a lot of thinking, and I've done a lot of long-distance running recently, and <laughs> doing a lot of thinking there. So we had a plan for each team. Um, so if it had been Chelmsford, we had a plan for them. Um, 
and we knew that if we played Hampton it was going to be at their place. So we've got a plan for them, yeah, and I don't think I'll probably try and manage the game as I did yesterday, because that's very difficult to do, yeah. and if it doesn't come off, it can cause you problems, but like I said, yesterday went absolutely perfectly. Um, I couldn't have scripted that better. So we've got a, um, a way of playing against Hampton that we'll, um, that we'll do that they haven't seen, that nobody's seen, to be honest. Um, we'll do some work on that or this week, we're training twice. Um, and if we can go into it with the same desire, commitment, hunger, attitude that we showed yesterday, then and on Tuesday, to be honest, because we yeah. kept going, then I think um, we've got a great chance. Excellent. Um, all I can say from myself and all the Hayes fans is best of luck Thursday night and uh, congratulations on yesterday. Thanks very much. Uh, 